What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we have for you part two of my all time baby favorites. So if you haven't seen part one, check in the down bar below. I will be linking that for you. But without further ado, let's get into my favorites. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is this little bib here. And I have a gray one and they come in different colors. But what's really cool is they fold up into themselves like this. So you can stick them in your diaper bag super easy. They're really easy to clean. I literally just wipe it out, rinse it off, hang it up so it's ready to go for the next time. But it's super convenient. You can stick a fork in here. That's what I used to do and um, take it to go. But these are by, it's so funny because I think somebody corrected me on how to say it. I think it's OXO, not OXO, OXO. Um, but yes, definitely get these. These are good. I can't find my other one, but I have a smaller one that's pink, but this is a wet bag. So if you go to the pool or whatever, but in your diaper bag, it helps if your baby has a blowout and it will happen. If it hasn't happened to you yet, get ready. Brace yourself. So this um, just goes in your diaper bag and you can rinse their and wash their clothes. I would suggest keeping a little bottle of um, detergent so you can just put a little bit in and if you're in the bathroom or whatever you can wash it off and stick the wet clothes in the wet bag and always have an extra pair of clothes possibly two um, just in case you have a blow what also helps is if you have a onesie underneath their clothes it helps and also having the size diaper really helps blowouts so in that combination it should definitely make it a little bit easier for you guys okay another product is the baby einstein dream soother now this goes onto the side of their crib and it's super cute and it has music and it lights up and it really gets them going and i absolutely love it you put the soft music on and then it soothes them so it does all kinds of stuff so i highly suggest getting one of those it doesn't have to be the same one that um, i have but something that goes on the side of the bed that's safe and um that will soothe them to sleep or distract them from going to bed. Next on my list is my baby car mirror. I've used a lot of mirrors. This is by far the best and the biggest and you can adjust the angle super easy and it just stays put. So this is really, really good. I love this mirror, so I hope you guys like it too. Okay, next is stroller hooks. These stroller hooks are literally a godsend. When you're out and about and you're shopping or doing whatever, you hang the hooks on and you can put your grocery bags, you can put whatever. I actually sent a video to my husband and I went to Trader Joe's and it's like, how do you shop? Okay, I have two babies, those carts are tiny, what do you do? So I took my stroller, I took my two mommy hooks and I brought my reusable shopping bags and I hung them from the sides. And then so I had my two babies in there and I was stuffing my groceries inside. So definitely a hack. And, um, it, and those bags were the pop-up ones. Um, I think I got them from Target, but they pop up and they're kind of wide and I hung both of them on so I could literally just stick stuff in and push my little double stroller. I look like a maniac, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta be able to grocery shop in peace. Another one of my favorite baby products are these little dividers. Now, this says what size your baby has because in your closet you're gonna for your baby shower and you're buying stuff you're gonna have all these random sizes that they can't fit into for example my little baby's such a peanut that she's almost gonna be a year old and she can still fit three month clothing yeah she's so tiny she has some six month that she's fitting into now but she's a little little peanut so i put all of these um, little dividers in so i can section off so people know don't use these this is what she uses now and it keeps me super organized so i love these so i actually get stopped in the street about this stroller and i want to say i have experience with this stroller situation i've had two babies that were two years apart and then my last two were 18 17 months apart so I've had two little ones back to back basically, two sets of little ones back to back. And then I had like a four year gap in between those two. But, so double strollers are my thing. Now I've had strollers in the past that were good but they were hard to turn and all that. And I just recently got a double stroller that my grandma bought me and it was pretty expensive, but it sucked. Like you could not turn it. And I thought it was just me. I'm like, am I a horrible like stroller driver? Am I losing my touch? But my husband would drive like, I hate this stroller. Like it sucked. So I used that in the beginning um, with like the baby carrier uh, car seat. 
but after she was out of that phase, I got rid of it. So when she was able to sit up and sit in her own seat, I was using a completely different stroller, even though I had to repurchase another one. I just told him it's not worth the energies. If something isn't working, let it go. You gotta just chalk it up as a loss, bless somebody with it, so those positive energies come back to you, just let it go. Don't just keep using it if it doesn't work. People will come up to me and be like, what stroller is that? Because it's so tiny and compact, it's perfect. Well, there's one thing that's off, but like I said, light, easy to fold down. My son, who's 10, he can pull it in and out of the car, super easy. The only, only, only thing I have that is disappointing is there's not a second shader because it's so compact there's not enough room for there to be a second shader for the second child in the back because eventually it's like a sit and stand um, well it is a sit and stand but the seat comes off so that's why there's no shader in the back but I have an extra umbrella I will also link that down below but it attaches to the side and it gives her the shade that she needs and I can adjust and I kind of like that better because I can move it all the way to either side instead of just front and back so if the sun's coming from the side I can actually move the umbrella and it was just a cheap one off of Amazon it's not like life-changing but I really like it I would I would purchase it again so anyways that is my favorite stroller of all time if I had to pick one stroller my next favorite is this adorable pink walker it's so cute but it works really well she loves it and it's got all these attachment and toys and you can actually pull off the toys and put her snacks on it. So it's really good. Love it. The next item is this. Ubi? I don't know. Ubi? U-B-B-I. U-B-B-I. Okay, so this is a diaper pail. This is the best diaper pail I've ever used. I used them all, okay? I used to have the one that has the bags where it just goes down and then you twist it and then it, you put another diaper in and you twist it and you know what? I didn't like paying for all those refills. It got expensive. This one's good. You can use your own garbage bag and put it in there and whatever metal, okay? I don't know, whatever metal it's made out of keeps the smelling because when you open it, you're like, oh. So it's good, it works really, really good. I highly suggest any diaper pill, it's gonna be this one. This is the best one. Now we have this activity center. I love that the colors are kind of muted so it goes with you know, the decor of your house. It's not too crazy looking. But I love that you can reconfigure everything, move stuff around. This little center seat, it actually swivels and turns. So she can change her position and all of that, but I absolutely love it. This is definitely a must get. Okay, so my next item is, it's this summer baby carrier. I used to have a baby Bajorn, but this one has more support. It actually wraps around your waist and it just feels more comfortable. And I had the baby Bajorn one for, I'm gonna say three of my kids. I just got this one with the last baby and it's way cheaper and by far superior to the baby Bajorn one. And I feel like their legs, you always wanna make sure their legs are out and not squished together and hurting their hips. There's a proper way, just definitely look it up. Um, but love this one, works super good. Next, you have to have one of these. Um, I really like this one because it's big. I honestly use this too for protein shake and stuff like that. After the babies you know, grow out of the formula stage, um, all my fa babies were breastfed, but some of them I had a transition period where I did formula just for a little bit and then transition them to, you know, to water basically. But you could use this for protein shake after and that's what I've done with all of my kids. But this is a good one because it's huge. What brand is this? This is by Munchkin. I'll link this one down below. Okay, I told you guys this was gonna be a long video, but like I said, these are all my favorites, things that I feel like are necessary. Okay, so another necessity. Now, there's another one I will try to link that down below. I don't have it anymore because she's past that stage, but I'll insert a picture and it's got more of a head support, which I use that one. And it kind of cocoons them in more um, in their car seat. I really felt like it was helpful. And so now she's in this stage one. This is by Summer. And it just is a little bit of a headrest and gives her a little cushioning and you know makes her feel a little more secure in there. But I like it because of the padding. Sometimes those baby seats, they're kind of hard, you know? I mean, and it's okay that they're firm, but I just think that it's just more comfortable for her when I have this. Okay, I'm gonna link down some um, of my favorite like baby clothes and baby shoes that I got off of Amazon, but I got 
some of the cutest little shoes and they're so much cheaper you guys and she actually wears these and they stay on her feet pretty good so um, I got literally every single color black purple white gold they come in everything so I got all of those so these are super dirty um, because she was wearing them out in the backyard in that little activity thing but these little pink moccasins and I love these too because they're they have this like little stretchy band and they stay on her feet so I like these as well then there's these little guys they're super cute little moccasin like shoes if you're somewhere where it's colder or you're, it's winter time when your baby's this size but I will link all of these below these are all of the shoes and they worked out really really good shoes can get high in price and I just feel like their feet are growing so fast there's no point I mean in my opinion if you want to go right ahead but I just feel like this is not one of the things that I splurge on I splurge on something like this like my next product so this is my infant optics okay now I have a camera in every baby room I think it links up to four cameras so I have one in each of the kids room I have one in the playroom and then I also have one uh, where the kids homeschool so I can spy on them but um, this is so good because I can just flip back and forth to each camera I can put it on scan so it will scan to whatever um, camera that has like movement or whatever but these are really good they can zoom in you can see at night um, and this little head like adjusts so it can flip back you can turn it side to side and you can just scan over on here that's what I like about it is like I'm like okay what's on this side what's on this side so it has these little arrows right here that you like scroll around and see what's going on so this is a great great baby this is our daughter's jumper it's absolutely adorable it comes a long way from the ones we used to use that were in the door jam but it's super cute it's Minnie Mouse and she loves this thing there's these little hooks on the side that you can attach other toys to and I absolutely love this one so definitely check it out Okay, so last, one of my little favorites is this little guy right here. This suctions to whatever you want, tabletop, high chair, whatever, and it has the reflection in it, so it really gets them interested. And then it's got little noise-making things inside, but my baby loved this thing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That was my newborn to six months favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of stuff, so this video is one of the videos that is like near and dear to my heart because honestly, it's like, memories and tears and sweat and you know what I mean as I was going on my Amazon account because most of my stuff was on Amazon because it's easy it's also helpful as a new mom to just be able to order things but you know as I'm looking at this whole pile of stuff is on all the things that I've went through as I'm raising my kids and my last little baby is about to be one years old I can't even believe it and so you know this stage of my life is over but I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and I just want to say if there's a new mommy out there and you're kind of struggling on finding yourself again I went through it and um, I didn't have postpartum depression I know that's a real thing you definitely seek help if you feel something deeper than what I'm talking about but if you feel down or you feel like where is my balance or where how am I gonna find myself again Give yourself some time. You're gonna be in a cave of wonders. That's what I call it because you're inside, you have barf and drool all over you and things just get kind of crazy. But just know that finding yourself gets easier over time. And as I had my fourth baby, it got easier for me too and I know it will for you. So just know you're gonna get there and you're gonna find your balance, you're gonna find yourself again and you're gonna love your life with your new little baby in it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna hear more mommy stuff, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell. And I so appreciate you guys taking the time to come hang with me. I really appreciate it. I'm always your girl, Lauren Marie. Bye.